Wiley is like, bless him, yeah, he said to someone, you're in Roll Deep, yeah? Mm. And they'll come to the studio and then we'll be like, don't listen to like you're not, bro. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so who's who, who come not, to the studio? Saying, come on. I remember someone ringing me up saying, listen, he's at Commander B's now, mate. He's doing the sickest tune for you. I was like, what? It I sounded like you, they was having you, I'm not even going to lie. Me and Wiley come unstuck that day, mate. I saw Sai si as, as... As Roll Deep. Yeah, but yeah. there were other members who didn't. When we was told Mango was in the crew, mm. a few of us said, of course he's not. And today we're back for another episode of the Grime History Lesson. Today we've got a very special guest. He's very hard to pin down, so you're lucky to have him here. Rico Dan, aka the London City Warlord. What is going on? Yes, Dave. Good to be here, bruv. Thanks for having me. No problem. Thanks for coming. What camera should I look into? Anyone? That one. You can tell he doesn't do this like on a regular basis, yeah. do you? No. Like I was saying, I only like doing it with people I know. Do you get hit up to do like a lot of interviews? Yeah, man. Just not like, not 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 being disrespectful to people that ask me, but I don't know, man. I just rather do do interviews with people that know me a bit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because then, you know what I mean. The questions are a bit. They're not just you know the same old boring. How did you start? What like, you know, when people someone knows you, they get they they ask you the right questions, innit? Yeah. So what's going on for you? Let's, you know, let's do this a bit different. I want to talk about what's happening now for you because I feel like since 2012, you've like sort of rebranded yourself and reinvented yourself, should I say? Yeah. Um, I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I, I agree with you, but that's, um, that's a time when, it wasn't when I had my first child, but it was a time when I started taking the dad a bit more seriously. You know what I mean? So... Music is the best thing I'm good at, isn't it? Like that's the other stuff. What I used to do, I'm no good at it. I was always getting in, getting it, getting in trouble. So I just decided to just pinch, like get my nut down, and just do my music, isn't it? And it's worked out. You know what I mean? So how do you feel like your music changed? So I feel like in 2012, like when I first met you, you was kind of the music you was doing was kind of different. Yeah. It was like the mum dance stuff, yeah, pinch, yeah, yeah. that sort of sound. Yeah. Big up Andy and, and them man there. Yeah, um, I think Andy saw like a kind of lane for me that I was not really tapping into that I could have tapped into a bit sooner. But um, yeah, we kind of went down the kind of abstract way, in, like kind of dark kind of. And to be honest, at first I wasn't really, when he used to send me the instrumentals, I was like, nah, man, this is not like, but he's like, just trust me, bruv. Just, you know what I mean? Just, just stick with it. And I stuck with it. And then from there, like you said, I've kind of rebranded myself, you get me? I haven't changed as an artist, but it's kind of like rebranding me, you get me? Yeah, because no, there's not many MCs doing that, that sort of the beats with a lot of space and you, your flow was still the same. It's not like you changed. No. It was just like the music you were spitting over yeah. had changed. It suited me more, innit? Yeah. I think there's only a few kind of gr like grime MCs that can really, like, make the most out of them tunes. Them tunes are not for every grime MC. Do you know what I mean? No, they're not. They're not. They're and not. that's not taking nothing away from the other MCs. I'm just saying, like, you need a certain kind of MC to put on those kind of tunes. Do you know what I mean? Because you was, like, back on the circuit. You was get, getting bookings everywhere. Yeah, man. It was, like, bruv, it was good, bruv. It was, like, the bookings were different and the features were different, but they were just piling up. You know what I mean? Who was you working with? So apart from like, I know you were doing a lot of bookings with Mum Dance. I've done a tune with The Bug. That just made, that got me bare, like, working that. Um, Rabbit, I've done that tune with Rabbit. Rabbit. yes. Um, uh, the other you, Zero, I've done the tune with Zero. Yep. Yeah, like, it was like, they all, they was like, one after the other, innit? There was like, one after the other. There was, there was a space, there was a time where I weren't really doing, like, you know, contemporary grime. It was just bare dark stuff. And it, like it worked out, man. You know what I mean? It worked out because in the end, I still got, I still got the grime work, like the contemporary grime work. But I just got that other work as well. So jungle, let's let's take it back to then. Was you like, was you one of the biggest MCs in your thing back then, or was you like the new kid on the block? Well, on Pressure FM, I was like just clearly the biggest, like the best, like you know what I mean. But it was a thing where. 
on your local radio station, it's just your like it's people locally in it that tell you how good you are in it. So you think that like, you're this amazing big star, and then it's only when I went and saw Shabba and Skiba live that I realised this is yeah, this is not what I've been doing is not even half of what I need to do in it. Why? What? So what did you go and see to make you think you know what? I need well, to for a start, they were at a, they was at a rave, a booking. I'd never been booked. Do you know what I mean? So they was already in a different league, and the way they were spitting, this is like. 96, bruv, New Jack City. The way they were spitting back to back, I said, fucking hell. But Jungle was a time where I was still, I was like, I weren't, I, I was still on, like doing stuff on the road, innit? So I wasn't really, I wasn't really taking it that seriously. I was taking it for granted, you know what I mean? If I'm being totally honest, taking it for granted, man. So was it like a hobby? Like It wasn't a hobby, because I, I love music. I love Jungle. I love going radio, bruv. I loved it, because back then radio was only like, Friday to Sunday, innit? It weren't all 20, like seven out seven seven days a week. It was only like from Friday to Sunday, and you had your set show. So I, I looked forward to that every week. You know what I'm saying? But I was just I was a bit young then, innit? And I thought I was a rude boy, innit? and I was just doing other stupid stuff. So yeah. So who did you start out with then? So on pressure, who was like DJ and who was your MCing with? Uh, Jamie B, my first ever DJ ever. Big up Jamie. You done though. Was that the owner of the... Yeah, 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 that was um, Pressure FM owner still, like the big boss, you get me? Yeah, that he was my first DJ, man. He, do you know what, to be fair, he's the first man to say to me, yeah, you know what, you got you got something. Because back then, it wasn't even really jungle, it was like hardcore, innit? Jungle hadn't even really come yet. So when we talk about, what, 95? Like, 94, 95, 94, okay. you know what I'm saying? And it was like kind of hardcore, but he showed me from then, nah, you got... You go with this music, innit? You know what I mean? And then, yeah, man. Big up Jamie, man. Never forget you, bruv. So, what MCs was around? Well, Bucky was the kingpin back then. Like, that's who I wanted to be, innit? When I was, like, growing up. And then, that was before we saw, like, people from outside the area. But then, as I got a bit more into Jungle, I started to hear Moose and Fiverr and Navigator and, you know what I mean? And all them guys, so yeah. But I will say, Bucky, he was my that was my first kind of MC I looked up to. You know what I mean? Okay. In okay. England, do you know what I mean? Mm. So, jungles happening. Mm. Where did the garage thing come into it? And was you even involved in that? No, yeah, I'm involved because I missed that. I missed there was a big, there was a part from the jungle to garage, and then grime. That I you missed, missed that garage bit. How much did you miss? I basically come out when there was grime. I went away when there was no grime, and I came out when there was grime. So when did when did you come out? Was it 03? No, I came 02? out 202. 202? Yeah. When in 99, come out 202. So that's a big chunk you missed, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. So yeah, just I'm... before you went away, what was happening? Was it just still Rico, no. MC Rico, the jungle MC? Yeah, was, yeah, yeah, 100%. There was nothing else. There weren't no. No, that was it. Do you feel like. Garage is something you would have naturally have went to. No. You were, yeah, because no. I, I, I can't imagine you. No. Did you even like Garage? Not really. Like, not like, I I know, I understand the, mu like, the music. I understand a lot of people like it, and I know it's a, like, it's a big genre, but I, I don't really like gar Garage at all. So listen, if you never went away yet, do you yeah. feel like to this day you probably still would have been like a jungle MC? A you jungle know what? Bass that's, a MC? Good, that's a good question, Dave. You're, I would say yes. But because of what my mates went and done in Grime, mm. I would have eventually crossed over. Do you know what I mean? Whether I would have crossed over and stayed over, I'm not sure. But I would have definitely been that, you know what I mean? Dabbling with Grime because who my mates are, you know what I mean? And what they've done in Grime. So how did you meet, like, you know, like, Targets, your Danny's, Will? How did your relationship with the Grime MC sort of found? Well, to be fair... What a lot of people don't realise is they think we all grew up from here together. But that's that like fairy tale story, yeah, they, isn't it? They, yeah. There's a few that did. And the likes of me, there's a few like me and others. We never, yeah. But I met them kind of like when I was about well, I met Wiley, you know what I mean, when I was about sixteen. He was probably about fifteen, you know what I mean? And we met on radio, innit? And it's only since then that we've come close, innit? Like we became really close. And then 
like I said, I went away. It's then when I came out, then I met Danny and Darren, like Target. Yep. You know what I mean? How did you meet them? Was it just from around the area or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to meet Wiley at Limas and they was there. And then, because our, our parents know each other, innit? It's just, I was like, when I'm a bit older, I used to hang about with the naughtier boys on the other side. We all lived, we're all from the same area, but I sang back with the naughty, you know what I mean? The naughtier yeah. guys, they were like, they were like, they were nice, they were good kids, you know what I mean? They weren't that, they weren't, you know what I mean? That's not a diss, you know, but because yeah. I know, I've heard a few young kids say, when they say someone's a good you, it's a diss, innit? It's not a diss, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that when I was a bit older and they was younger, we didn't really mix until Pressure FM and then Rinse FM, and then, you know what I mean? And then we just bonded since then. So you go away. Yeah. You come back and it's like, it's Graham. Yeah. Whilst you're all like away, are you even aware of what's going on? Yeah, I was aware, but what I was trying to do is that, you know, black it, blank it out, like block it out. Oh, because you're thinking, I can't Because I'm missing out. Even, yeah. yeah, I'm missing out on, and the like the names I'm hearing, like the biggest names, they're my mates. So I'm thinking, I'm in here, I can't even, like, like I'm, I'm <laughs> happy for them, but in a way, I'm, I'm in, in, for myself, I'm thinking, no, I can't even listen to this. Because it sounds like they're they're running the world, and I'm in here. So what was you hearing when you're when you're away? What you what are you hearing? I'm hearing. Was it champagne dance? What I'm is hearing it? all of that, bruv. I'm mean, seeing top of the pops performances, bro. Oh no. I'm seeing, I'm seeing everything, bruv. I'm seeing all sorts. I'm hearing them on radio. Remember, I'm in a far jail, so you can't have London station. So I'm hearing them on mainstream radio. Kiss and all of that. What yeah, capital? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Dumpy do hooks and yeah. I'm saying yo. Hearing Ace do sick verses, R.I.P. Bruv, God's gift. They're my, like my brothers and I'm stuck in that box, bruv. But I was happy for them, but if I'm being totally honest, I was like, I was thinking, oh, I can't even listen to this, man. This is painful, bruv. So did you think to yourself, when I get out of here, that is it, I'm taking over the uh, whole thing. Do you know what? Does that to, leave it in your mind? No. Nah. I just want to go and see your family. Yeah, and I just want to get this bird out of the way. I can't even think like that, do you know what I mean? And... I don't even know if I can if I'm allowed. I don't I don't know, you know what I mean? Because from in there it looked like page you go was that was it. You ain't getting in and you ain't getting out. Like that's it now, isn't it? Mm. I didn't think I'd be able to come out and then just join, you know what I mean? So I wasn't really thinking that far ahead, but it turned out alright, to be honest. So you come out of jail, mm. pay as you go's running, but it's like towards the end of pay as you go, right? Yeah. So what happens? So you get out of jail. When I what got out of jail, I didn't join Page Go straight away. I got out of jail, and I will never forget this day. I got out of jail, and I got out. I got out around Christmas time, and Wiley said, "I'm gonna come to your house because we got a show in it, and we're gonna take you to the show." I was like, right, "Cool, right?" You got to remember, bearing in mind, the last show I done was like, a, like, like they kind of like when you not even shows like house party or something. Yeah. Or even if it was a, sh it's not a show, but or a hall, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking, all right, cool, we're gonna take us to a show, and I'm thinking, it's what like worst way is gonna be a shubs, isn't it? When we've got out of the cab, and the security seen Wiley, the way I see the security move, I said, nah, we've made the security's moving everyone out the way. They was going, Wiley, Wiley, come, come, come. Then Wiley was like, they was rushing him through. I was behind him when he was walking through the crowd. People trying to grab him, Wiley. I was looking, I was thinking, what? Is this what it is? He said, I told you, I told you. Went, got on the stage. There's bare people. I can't remember what rave it was, like, bare people. Do you remember where it was? Like, it was out in London, London, I can't yeah. remember. Luton, somewhere like Bedford, maybe? Uh, no, not, no, it weren't. I can't remember where it was, you know. It might have been South End, you know. Okay. It, it might have been South End or Brighton on one of them, can't remember water. It might have been one of them. But yeah, I just saw. The way the fans were, the security, the way they was protecting him, like, then we was on the stage, then he got the mic, he said one lyric, and I, was, I said, bruv, this is no way, is this what's happening? He's like, I told you, he's, he's spitting, but he's talking as well, I told you, I told you. Then give me the mic, I just done any ragged yeah. lyric. They went yeah, what, what lyric was you busting then? I didn't have no written lyrics. But I just knew, you know, I'm a music man, innit? Yeah, yeah. I just said one or two rag up, yeah, and it, it was mad, bro. That's when I knew, yeah, we got, this is like, we can make a living out of this now, you get me? Yeah. We can make a living out of it. So what happened after that then? 
What do you mean? Like the period. So obviously you've gone to your first yeah. rave with Wiley. Yeah, then you after. You bust that up. Then like, tell me. Then of, after, I started going radio and that. Was that rinse? Yeah, started going rinse. Um, to be fair, when I went away, I wasn't, when I used to write lyrics, I didn't write in 16s and 32s. I just write, innit? It's a jungle, you just write and go with it, innit? So I got you. I got. I learned how to write sixteens and thirty twos, and that. I just started writing. Started going radio. Got better and better and grime. Then started getting bookings. And then yeah, man. Then join Page You Go. So how long was it until you come out? Then you join Page You Go. Was it three, four months? Uh, you... About uh, about six months. Six months. Six seven months. Yeah. So how did that come about? You even joining? A couple of men left, didn't it? Obviously, a few men left. What? So what? Uh... Why Bill, left. Flo Dan. Flo Dan left. Um, Is that when Max Gift Roll, and that, and that left? Max in it, yeah. No, Gift was Gift. Because he went East Connection and all that. East is East, wasn't it? Or? No, nah, Gift stayed. He I stayed? Remember the, I remember the first photo shoot with them. He was there. Okay. Okay, so who was in the first photo shoot then? That would make it probably easier. Me, it was me, Plague, Luke, Jerome, G, Dean, yeah, I don't think Dominic was still with us, you know. To be so clear. he'd left? Yeah. All right, cool. So that's, that's Dom P. Yeah. So basically, obviously, people might know the name. So it was you, Major Ace. Yeah. Gift. Yeah. Slim. Yeah. G. And Plague. And Plague. So what was that like, being in Pay As You Go? Well, towards the end of it anyway, was it still like, you're in Pay As You Go? Or did yeah, you feel I, like, oh, this is a par, man? No, I'm kind I, of I, in I, it at I, the I, end. I didn't think it was a par, but I also knew I was in it because... Of circums of what has happened because people had left the yeah. main the main front runners yeah, have yeah, gone yeah and they've drafted you yeah in. yeah which is which I was which I remember they're my mate so it was it felt natural but I also re I also knew it was because of circumstance in it but it was alright man it was alright was going to the studio doing tunes and that what was the end because I've never really Bruv, heard the proper story I don't know why I don't know why it stopped yeah because. I don't know, maybe G might have thought, you know what, this you're losing all the original people and you keep putting other people. I don't know, I, I don't know. But I, all, I remember Wiley saying to me, you should join Roll Deep, innit? And I was like, yeah, but I'm, I'm in Paris, you go. And he's like, yeah, but Roll Deep is more, it's, you know what I mean? It's more MC, you know what I mean? It's more- It's a new thing, innit? Yeah. And it's like, Paris, you go was not like, they were like a, they were like a group. Remember, they had been on telly and that top of the pops and all, more like a group kind of. Roll deep as a crew in it. Like, but did you, you feel like you was going into a group when you joined Page? Go, did you think it was going to be the same like champagne dance? You're gonna yeah, I did be on that. top of the pops. Yeah, I like, did. I did think that. I yeah. did think that. But I don't know, man. It just didn't happen, did it? I'm not sure why. And then they, they, there's other stuff, politics that I don't even know about that only G and Wiley would ever know about. Do you know what yeah. I mean? The stuff that only they know about that other people don't know about. So it's deeper than whatever. When money gets involved yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's mad, it's mad. Because even Slim sort of started going off with Viper, just doing the Sidewinder stuff. Yeah. It's a shame though, because it's not, well, everything comes to an end, didn't it? But it, it maybe it's a shame that it didn't last a bit longer. How long was you in it for, would you say then? About maybe seven or eight months. Oh, so it wasn't even long. Nah. So what you was doing really in studio and doing like Rinse of M? Yeah, and shows. Getting Page yeah. Go, yeah, getting Page Go bookings, yeah. Um, yeah, but it, it wasn't really, it didn't last too long. But, you know it is, it's because you're in Page Go, your mates are in Roll Deep, yeah. You, you're automatically going to be with your mates that are in Roll Deep. Mm. You know what I mean? And then maybe your mates in Page you go think, why is he like why is he what he's in Page you go, but he's with them more. Is that what was happening? Yeah, because I'm hanging back with them a lot more, innit? So he's like, I don't know, man. And then Wiley asked me to join and I I joined, innit? So you join Roll Deep. This is where it starts taking off properly then, innit? Yeah. When he when he joined Roll Deep. So what was this when he joined Roll Deep, who was who was in it then? Um Danny Weed, Target, Carnage, Wiley. Um, Flo Dan, Breeze, Jet Li, Brazen, yep. Scratchy. Mm. That was it. There weren't no bubbles. weren't really bubbles. He, were, he, weren't, he was there, but he yeah, yeah. He's more doing his thing. I mean, um, yeah. But 
to be fair, at the beginning, I was, I was in Road Deep for about a year and it, it didn't go, it wasn't, it didn't look like it was going to where it went. It just looked like I was going radio, doing, then. Was you even doing songs when you first joined or was it the Strictly Radio? Nah, s- when, not songs, but mix CD tunes. Was that Creeper volume? Yeah. Was that Creeper at the yeah, era? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? So they're not really songs, they're like mix CD, like, you know what I mean? Like shelling, innit? But yeah, man, then after a little while in Road Deep, we've got a manager. Who was that? Dave. That guy must have grey hairs now, bruv. We put that guy through hell. Dave, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm playing, saying sorry on behalf of everyone, bruv. But yeah, we got a manager. And then, obviously, we've got the raw talent in it. And now we've got the like professional side in it. Then we just started doing more and more stuff, going like more and more places all around Europe. Then I'm on top of the pops. Um, CD UK, um, all of that, bruv, all the shows, all the, remember the music shows where it's come on Saturdays? Yeah, 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 yeah. What yeah. some of these youths won't even yeah, know about. Yeah. I was on all of them, bruv. So, so let's go back. So the manager joins, yeah. What is it he done that made you lot elevate, even if it was him or was it like, when did like Roll Deep change from just being a crew to like actually? A proper, a proper Yeah, um, yeah. It's, 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 I think it's when Dave, when Dave joined. Because obviously you got Wiley, who was the like the the he doesn't like being called the boss, but if, like you know what I mean, black black in black and white terms, he was the boss. Mm. He knows how to do certain things, but he's not got time to do that, like to do all the professional side, the business side. Because remember, he's doing Wiley as well, as well as being Wiley and Roll Deep, he's doing Wiley on his own, so he ain't got time to like do all the business side of stuff. So when, I think when Dave come. That's all he has to do. That he don't need to do nothing else, but you know what I mean. Get the most out of the commercial side of stuff. You know what I mean. And to be fair to him, he done that, bro. He done it. Yeah. He done it, bro. He got us doing tunes with, uh, like you know that Badman song. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big move. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? It's a big move, like. Because all of like shoot like the gun crime and that. Anti gun campaigns yeah, and all that. Move, the Trident. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, big move. So, yeah, Dave knew what he, he knew what he was doing, man. Trust me. So, was this before like you got Roll Deep got signed? Yeah. Yeah. So, when Roll Deep gets signed, yeah. What are you thinking? And obviously, you realise you're not going to be, you're going to be making pop music as it was called then. Nah, but to be fair, I wasn't going to be making the pop music. I knew that. Why, why though? Because you're in you're in a crew though. Yeah, but the songs that they're doing, there's no space for you. There's enough MCs in the crew that fit on that music. Don't need to put you on it. So it's like Roll Deep kind of split into two. There was like you know how, how I can put it? you know you know the England squad. Mm. See when the England squad goes away, mm. they're a team, aren't they? They're one team. But over there, you'll have the Man United boys. Over there, you'll have the Arsenal Chelsea, boys, yes, yes, Liverpool. Yes. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like the the ones that are on the tune, they're going to be more... So that was like what Scratchies, Breeze, Brazen, Brazen Jason, uh, Manga. Y- yeah, that I was... Mean, but, yeah, man. Then who did you? Was was it then you, Gif? Like, yeah, you and Gif was like... No, Gif weren't really... I know we weren't involved, yeah, but yeah, you yeah, was yeah, doing yeah, a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, yeah, yeah. Exactly that, killer. Like, so there's. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's clicks. And then you had Ske- Skeps and Jamie, Sire, and like, all oh, that was still in it as well, wasn't yeah, they? Yeah. So, what, how did they all join? Like, Roll Deep started turning, like, Bruv, mad. Roll Deep has had a lot of members. Yeah. But Wiley used to, like, blessing me, he say to someone, You're in Roll Deep, yeah? Mm. And they'll come to the studio, and then <laughs> we'd be like, don't listen to like you're not, bro. And then, <laughs> so who, who, who's not, come to the studio? Come on, who's come to the studio? No, yeah, it's happened a few times, bro. And like they were like, yeah, I'm I'm roll deep, and you you and I I tell I'll be on I tell you one thing, yeah. I I'll be on I say this because he's he's a, he's a, he's our close friend now. I'll be honest with you, when when we was told Mango was in the crew, mm. a few of us said, of course he's not. We hadn't heard him. We yeah. that's us being ignorant. We didn't hear him. But we're saying, of course he ain't. Of course he's not. Like, why would he be? 
but it goes to show, you know what I mean? He is, he was, he and was, he yeah, still is. Yeah. And look at him now, you know what I mean? But there was a few other Donnies that got like, I don't know. You can't really blame him because if he told you you are, you're gonna you're gonna listen to him, innit? But then we act like we sometimes we just said, not in a bad way, but like bro, you're So not. is there certain members that have that was meant to be enrolled in, but you lot like didn't really want it to run? It can't it's not us lot because we're not do, all we're doing, we're just letting you know that we know what it is. We're just it's like we're giving you a heads up because okay. sooner or later you you won't be in it anyway. As much as you think you're in it, sooner or later you will realise you weren't you're not in it and you never was. Do you know what I mean? Not in a bad way. Like it's like why he's got a big heart in it. Like you do something that you know what I mean that he he thinks is sick. Like back then, yeah, like especially at MC or not, DJs as well were told they was in roll deep. So come on, tell people come on, they might as well. Right, at one stage yeah. Logan was supposed to be in roll deep. Right, right. Sire was in roll deep. Was Sire actually in roll deep though? There you go. Yeah. There's that people get they're told they're in roll deep. But Sire, he was hanging around with you for a yeah, bit. Yeah, no, Sire. I'll well, be I'll be I'll be honest with you. Yeah, Sire was. I I I saw Sire as as, as roll deep. Yeah, but yeah. there were other members who didn't. Yeah, you know what I mean. And other members made it hard for him every time he came radio. Where do you think that was? It's the, yeah. Do you know what? It's it's like it's a it's it's a territory thing, isn't it? It's like this is at like. Some people think this is my territory. I don't even really know you, and who's talking? You know what I mean? He said, "Yeah, man. It's just yeah." And you got to remember, MCs have got massive egos, bro. They've got big egos. When they see another, like another MC, like trampling on their thing, they, you know what I mean? They feel like it's a threat. Up. Yeah. Did you ever feel like that when new MCs? Never. Like even when Skepta, Jamie, all of that joined. No. Nah. How was that? Or did you think, oh, this is gonna make the crew big, or this is gonna make? us better as a crew, me maybe better as an MC. What was you thinking when them lot joined? When them lot joined, if I'm being totally honest, I felt a bit kind of, I felt like it was going another way. Not 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 a, not a bad way, but a way that I don't, because... It's becoming new again. Yeah, and it's, lot, it's like, I don't know. I, I don't know, I just felt a bit, I don't know, bruv, like... Left out or left if, behind? Yeah, yeah. Like, these are the new young yeah, lots yeah. now. You're not, not left the... out, but left behind a little yeah, bit. Yeah, okay, okay. And it's like, you can see, because Wiley, Wiley knows what's hot and what's, like, you know, you, he's, like, he can, you can see he's, like, he's main... Cause remember, he used to, there was a stage where he, every song he come out, he said BBK. So it was like, I was thinking, like, oh, yeah, so that's the way... It's not there going, it's going. Do you know what I mean? So I kind of felt kind of left behind. Not left out, but left behind. But there's nothing much you can really do except just carry on doing you. And that's what I didn't do for a little while. Do you know what I mean? So what did so what did you do then? So elaborate. So I wh- kind of just When Roll Deep so it's Roll Deep BBK now, yeah? Yeah. I kind of just I don't know, it was I just it's like you felt less and less important. Do you know what I mean? Like Which, he was the number nine. He was yeah, yeah and then they brought a new striker yeah, now. Yeah, now you're, you're on the bench. You yeah, come yeah, on yeah, for three yeah. minutes. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. get cheers in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's another new couple midfielders in that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So what did you do then? Did you feel like oh, I want to quit, or did nah. you feel like I want to go to another crew? No, nah, I never, never felt like that. But um, what I did do is what I shouldn't. I just kind of it's like just salt. And just thought, right, if I'm not, I won't do nothing then. Oh. Which is not hurting no one but myself. You know what I mean? Right, if I'm not going to be, what am I going, what am I, no, I ain't going, you know what I mean? So you weren't going radio? Nah, you weren't no, going bookings? No. Well, if I had a booking, there's money, in it. But radio, nah, I can't be bothered, man. Uh, studio, nah, I can't be bothered, man. Do you, do you know what I mean? It's kind of like, like sulking, because you're not really... And do you feel like they knew that? I don't think it was a problem. I don't think it was. I don't think it was that much of a problem for them to even think about it. They're they're moving they're same way. They're, they're just there, isn't it? Who yeah. ain't there? Who, who's not there? Ain't there? Who's who is there? Is there? They're still gonna be. You know what I mean? I don't think it was that much of a thing for anyone to think about it. But yeah, man, it took me a kind of. It took me a few like a couple of years, maybe eighty. A couple months. of years. Yeah, about eighty months, and then. 
I got with Doug's in it and done the Sleeping Giant album. Yep. You know what I mean? Like rediscovered myself, innit? But then at the same time, was still in roll deep. It was I'd never le- I'd never left, was never told to leave or never kind of advised to leave. It's just I'd done, you know what I mean? I'd done, I'd done my own thing and it it felt better going away, doing my own thing and then coming back. Do you know what I mean? So you came back and then Roll Deep was still going on, obviously. Or... It, ooh, it weren't. It was finishing off a little bit. It was kind so of... So towards the end, who was, like, what was Roll Deep then? Obviously, you've got Skepta, Wiley, Jamie, all that gone one way. Then what's that left? It. That was it. Because a few... Most, uh, most like the breezes and the brazens and them dons, they can't and Jasons and that, they went on to other stuff. They went, Jason d- done the trainers, breezes, oh, yeah, his brother. Did, it? Yeah. yeah, they kind of went and done like just other stuff. Scratch, so was scratch. Scratch was started working and it was just people were growing up in it and growing up away like away from like roll deep. Do you know what I mean? Not like they, not like they. They're, they're growing up and saying, I'm not in Roll Deep no more. But the things that, when they're growing up, life's taking them on different journeys, innit? You know what I mean? Music becomes second or even third. Because, like, obviously, Darren went to one extra, didn't he? Or, yeah. Yeah. What are you going to, like, when you say Roll Deep, like, if, they, like, if, if you're going to carry on saying Roll Deep, then what are Roll Deep doing then? Is there any tunes? There's no tunes. So, it's, like, you might as well not say there is no Roll Deep, but there's no, no, no one's doing no Roll Deep work. So, there's no point. Do you know what I mean? Because you lot have never said like Roll Deeps. Nah, but... Gone, is dead. No it speaks ever for itself said though, doesn't it? Yeah. The, the work speaks for itself. Because mm. them, them BBK suits, they, they still got tunes here and there. They got tunes, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, it is what it is. So I want to I wanna go back to something I actually wanted to talk about in this whole Roll Deep thing. So it was the beef with Fire Camp. Yeah. As a listener, yeah, just as a normal average listener listening to radio, you feel like that beef was so real and intense. It was crazy. But w- was it even that? Was it even what started that <coughs> off and what was the end of that? Like, Tell us the story behind that. I'll be honest with you. I personally think Wiley and Lethal, they never hated each other, ever. Yeah. Obviously, they pissed each other off. Yeah, they said stuff to annoy each other. They never wanted to hurt each other at any stage. Not I. I don't. This is what I. What this is my opinion, and I, from what I've seen in it, they wanted to hurt each other. It's the it's the other members that took it upon themselves to kind of because I, I remember I've come out of jail and someone's dissing Wiley. My first thing, like I'm, I wanna. It's gone past music, isn't it? I'm keeping it music, but I'm I'm also. Which I regret as it well. It sounded vicious, man. I mean, I remember hearing you gif. Yeah. I was That's thinking, I we was taking I think it to blimey, a blimey, man. Wiley probably didn't even want it to be taken. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It did get a bit... Bruv, I've seen videos, man. I've seen videos, like, recently of me back then. And when I watch it, I'm watching it, I'm thinking, how the hell... How am I, how am I doing that? I'm, I, the way I was moved, like, bruv... <laughs> This is what I'm saying to you. Some of them practice hours, the Bro. footage of you going for for Bizzle. I feel like I felt like you actually really hated each other. This, this is what I'm saying. I this is what I mean. It wasn't. It shouldn't even been that because Wiley and Lethal did not hate each other and they didn't want to hurt each other. It's the other members of both teams that are taking it. So who do you feel like on road on your end took it like? I t- I, I to a bit of another Jerome level. Took me and Jerome to start being stupid, Dave. Like, you did, like, innit? Yeah, just doing stupid stuff and saying, like, horrible stuff. But I remember one set, it was you, Jerome... Oh, my word. If on I, radio? On rinse. You lot were saying the most, yeah, bro. Man. I, I think, mate... Sometimes it's got, like... It goes past me. You've gone past the, the entertainment. It, bro, I think... Obviously, as a kid, yeah, it's yeah, entertaining. Like, yeah, when you're hearing that, though... Like, yeah, because did it ever, like, kick off? Like... Properly between the two crews. I know, like, Roach hated, Roachy was involved as well. Then you had, like, it was like E3 versus, like. No, nah. do you know what, Dave? To be honest, there wasn't. I never, like, I didn't never feel like, right, well, this is some serious. But my thing was, like, you can't chat to my mate like that. 
you know what I mean? I never felt like, well, this is, you know what, this is a serious beef because them, 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 most of them were kids. Mm. Yeah, Leaf was probably the oldest one, mm. and he's a musician. He was, he still is. Like he's a bit, he's a bit like you. You know who's, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying, I'm not taking nothing away from him. It's, it's good that he is like that. But you know when you're, you know when you've got trouble with a set of people. Yeah, that wasn't trouble. That was just, yeah, man. It wasn't trouble, man. No, never, you know what I mean? Never felt like trouble. Just you can't talk to my mate like that. Yeah, because obviously you lot went to Birmingham. It was like it was you, wonder. Yeah, you Wiley versus F- Bizzle and Fuming. Like what happened there? It sounded like they was having you, you over. It I'll sounded you. like they was having you. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm glad you said that. I tell you what happened. Me and Wiley come unstuck that day, mate. <laughs> yeah, we. Do you know what as well? I don't know about Wiley, but there was a state. There was a period in grime where I thought I was better than I was. Yeah, I thought because all that stuff got to my head. Like the the um the what's the dub I done, man? The ice rink. Oh that. yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone gassing me out. That got so I was thinking, any wave I go in, it's curtains. I've done the dance, yeah. That rave, I, I'm glad you bring it up. We <laughs> got sliced, fuming up, bro. Danny Weed was even rewinding I, for them. I, I, I know, saying, Danny, why are you? No, but the crowd, the crowd don't saying, lie. Zang the crowd, man. Yeah, we got our asses kicked that day, bro. It was, but that's how it goes, man. You know what I mean? Fair play to fuming and lethal, man. You know what I mean? Fair play to both of them. And if I see any of them now, it's, it's bare love. You know what I'm saying? I've seen Lee for a few shows, bare love. We even laugh about the stuff, you know what I mean? That's a long time ago yeah, now, man. man. So yeah. has it ever got like, have you ever had any other clashes? Like obviously you, sat, you and Demon sort uh, of, yeah, you um, and Gif sort of like, yeah, like, yeah what, yeah. tell us, tell us. Um, me and Gif, we didn't have a clash, we just done, I think, oh uh, well, no, no. Because I remember you was on Slimzy. This, you've gone. done a tune for me. I'd have never done a tune for you. Judge. No, I think we had a little disagreement. Mm. Something to do with, not to do with Wiley. doing music, maybe. No, and right. Wiley was saying, sort it out on, um, on music. Go, like, you know, <laughs> clash, clash. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing all that. You know what I mean? I'm not doing all that. Because you got to remember, God's gift, bruv. It's a big name. When I come out of jail, it's a big name. Yeah, you know? yeah, Matt Tribute. I was yeah, thinking, yeah. nah, 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 nah. Keep it rolling, it, yeah? Then I remember um, someone rang me up and said, "Yeah, I remember speaking to Judge and I, we agreed, didn't it? Right, like, we're not going to do a tune for each other." He's like, "No, no, no." Then I remember someone ringing me up saying, "Listen, he's at Commander B's now, mate. He's doing the sickest tune for you." I was like, "What?" My neck was in a brace, bro. I, uh... I still drove there, look like that thing. Drove there, <laughs> yeah. Went in there. I took my neck brace. He will remember. I took my neck brace off. And I went in. I kind of Get front- mic, mic, yeah. I went in there. Kind of fronted it. If anyone would have known, all they had to do was push my head, bruv. Oh. Mate. But I kind of fronted it and yeah, but we squashed it though, man. Yeah. And that's my brother to this day, you get what I'm saying? Because you lot was like a little tag team, man. Yeah. For, for I feel like you two on the mic used to bring out the worst in each yeah. other. Like Me. used to bring out a certain yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that tune dead that. Yeah. That that's a classic to I this day. I don't think Do you know when they say box you know, boxers fight uh boxers makes like fight Fights make style. Certain style of boxers that will make a fight a good fight, innit? Yeah. I think me and Jerome, back to back, I don't think you can get nah. any better than that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what about any more? Like Demon, did you and him have a little... What was he even that about? Mate. Was that he, something stupid? No, nah, mate. He was... Um, I woke up one morning to bear messages saying uh, that... Um, I think it was when Ghetto and Wiley were going at it, yeah? He was, um, he was with Ghetto... And he got in the mic and said, if Rico, and if Rico wants to get involved, or something, something like that, you know what I mean? Mm. But I woke up to bare messages on my phone, innit? I was like, what? I went to studio, done some songs and that, give them to all the DJs. And yeah, just, I went about for about two weeks on every radio station, just like saying everything, like everything, everything. Yeah. Come back, everything. Yeah, and then that sort of like died out. Mm-hmm. Anyone else you've had any sort of anything on a mic with? Uh, come on, stuck a few times. God, dogs. Oh, have you? On, re- on, on rinse. rinse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What that one with that set with G? Yeah, mate. Yeah, come yeah. on, stuck, bruv. Them lot set me up. Who set you up? G and Dean. They said, "Come radio, man." Dean, tell me he's there. <laughs> come radio. What time? Nine o'clock. I right, will pick you up. Yeah, cool, cool. Pick me up. I go in. You know, you, I went in. I've never met Doug's dogs before, but I'd heard him. You heard him, right? As soon as I saw him, I knew, I knew it was. I said, "What are you doing? You bang me? What, what are you doing?" But I, but I, was, I couldn't leave. 
Of course you couldn't. So I had to I held it up, but he, he he got the better of me, man. Yeah. He did. So like apart from like the roll deep boys, who was like what MCs was you feeling and you thinking, yeah, like this guy's style is the one, like apart from obviously your mates. Um What, when when I when I come out? Like when you come, yeah, from when you come out to like the like the peak roll deep days, you know, when Graham was uh, at his really, peak. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I uh, do you know what? I liked Skepta then. I yeah. still like him now, but I liked him then. You know when he's doing um you know that you know the cover of when him and Wiley they they've got the gloves microphone on. champion. Yeah, see them yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, liked yeah. Skepta that he was cold like he's cold now, but I pref- I liked him then. Because he was a different he wasn't a yard MC, but he was cold. He was spitting grease as well. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, I, I, I like Skepta. Because you was around him kind of around yeah, that yeah. period, wasn't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I did like I did I did like Skepta a lot still. And a lot of people surprised me as well. Like I think my first like when I was first early years in Grime, I didn't really people like Ghetto, I never really took them seriously. Why is that? I don't know, I just you know, I think it's like ignorance. What you don't know, you can't be bothered to find out. Yeah. And if something, if you don't see something straight away, you that's like you can't be bothered. Do you know what I mean? But what's seeing him now, and thinking, but he was their age. How comes I never saw that then? Because a lot of people saw it, and he knew what he had. You know what I mean? It's just one of them things. So wasn't you really like looking at other MCs? Was you just so I was just tunnel old, vision? Was, just yeah, because I remember I was one of the old like I wasn't. Yeah, man. I didn't really... No, I didn't really... I wasn't really listening to, like, who was... Unless they were put in front of me, like, Wiley's mates, like, skept, like I wasn't really, wasn't really here, you know what I mean? Do you think that was a downfall? That you... Of course it was, because you're, like, you're... You're in... You're taking part in something you're not really... You don't know about. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You, like, it's harmful to yourself. You're, 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 you're in a shark, you're in a, you're in a pool... But you don't know there's sharks in it. You're swimming around like a goldfish. There's sharks, you know what I mean? Okay. Is that why you didn't really put much solo stuff out? But in that era, because obviously it was only what, the Chosen One, was it? That like your first proper... We need to get into that, like... Um, do you know Chosen One? Um, when I came out... To be honest, when I, first, when I come out, after my first bid, and I came out and I was doing grime, I was still... I had one foot in the music and one foot on road. Cause remember, I got nicked again. Did you go back? Yeah, I went back, didn't I? Did ya? Yeah. So, oh, so when was this? Six. Oh, we did I, ya? Yeah, but then I bust case. I went away for like eight months, but I bust case in it. And then remember when I was telling you it's like 2012, when I, not when I first had my youth, but when I started taking being yeah. a dad seriously. Yeah. That's. The only time I start, I thought, nah, let me do the music. Like, let me take it serious, innit? So all before then, you're thinking, yeah, this just is ramping, us. just doing it. Even when it was going on top of the pops, was you was you there at Wembley and all yeah, of that? Yeah, yeah even yeah, all of them. Yeah. Going home, um, doing shit, ringing people. Like you're not being with people. You're not supposed to be with, basically. So when you're on the heights of roll deep, you're still messing around. Yeah, yeah. I got nicked when I was in. Like I got nicked. You know, you know, you mentioned that tune, Rico done dead that. Yeah. In GIF. You know Ross Allen? No. Nah. guy from Sony. Well, when I was doing that, around that time, I was doing that tune and a few others. Um, don't Want You Back. Remember that tune with Breeze? That was a tune. Oh. That Target production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Went on Aim Higher. Yeah. I was going to get signed there yeah, for, like, because of those tunes, I was going to sign those tunes and do more for an album, yeah? What's the, so Don't Want You Back, Dead That. And there was another one. What well, the one with G? Um, I'm still here. That one. Yeah. Dun, 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 I'm still one. here. Yeah, yeah. I've only got. I'm gone out and done. Got nicked. No. For like serious like stuff. You know what I mean? That just. That just. But then I think everyone was like, you know what? He he, he won't learn. He's a loose cannon. He's now, done. Yeah. He's done all that time. And he's come out and he's gone back for this. He ain't. You know what I mean? So what are you thinking? Like, they might have saying they want to sign you. And then that. Bruv, remember when I said the first time I didn't want to listen to no music? Oh, then the you're thinking... Time, you're, you're, I didn't even want a radio in my cell. I don't want, I don't want to hear no... I don't want to hear no melodies of nothing. I don't want to hear no musical stuff. 
And yeah, is it hard to keep away from music when you're in there? Of course there? it is. Everyone's blaring it, bruv. And people reminding you, oh, your mates on the thing, you know? Oh, no. Are you, so are you still in touch with people, like, I don't know, your your music mates while you're Not in? Not really. Uh, to be fair, when I've been away, he's, I've always, like, the my music mates, they've always been there for me, you know what I mean? Whatever I've needed, they've, you know what I mean? But I, there's no point me ringing you because you're going to tell me what happened in the studio today and what tunes coming out and what I've what what you got for me when I come out but I'm not I don't even know if I'm going to get out in the next you know what I mean yeah it's just, it's, it's kind of selfish isn't it cuz you don't want to hear about you cuz you all you're concentrated in, is in it I'm in here I've got to get I've got to sort out this first you know what I mean mm. but yeah man bloody hell so Rico could have got signed yeah nearly did big up Ross Allen Sony thing yeah so Fucked you come up. out and you just... Came out and thought, fuck this, man, it's long. I don't. I, I didn't come out and think I'm going to go on road. I did. I, I stopped that as well. I just stopped music and road. I just thought, fuck it. You know what I mean? That's when I got a job. Oh, okay. I fucking... The Olympic Stadium, bruv. I, me, like, oh, I, was I, y'all? Yeah, I yeah. built that up, you know what I mean? Oh, for a okay, while. yeah, nice bit of contract work there. Yeah, I went and built that up still for a little while. So 2012 comes, so obviously you've hit like the heights of Rob. So you know what, what was like the best moment for you in your career in terms of like Rob Deep? Because I know you, your, your family must have been proud of, of you, the, the missus. Yeah, Top of the Pops, um, like performing at Wembley. Was that with Snoop Dogg? Yeah, yeah. we've done it with 50 one time. Like, um, bare things. Um, we went on Nickelodeon. Like C, but when bruv, went on big, CBBs, big, bruv. Yeah, we've done a lot of stuff, bruv. That was that period in my career. That was my that's that's probably my like, what I what I would like them, what I remember and what I love the most, isn't it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. What was the lowest like parts? Was it you probably going inside when you're on the verge of getting a deal or roll deep, sort of coming to the end? Like uh, the lowest part is probably. It, yeah, I probably never felt worse than I felt when I got nicked the second time. No. Yeah, that was just like fucking hell. You've got all this, and now you're facing this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like 2012 comes, you meet Andy, yeah. and things things change for you again. Yeah, because he come along and he's like, listen, your thing, like, you got a certain thing for a certain lane. You're trying to do too much. He's good at noticing that He's stuff, sick, isn't he? Bruv. He's sick, bruv. He's sick, bruv. And if my problem is I don't, especially back then, I don't, I never listened to nothing, Dave. Didn't listen to no one. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I've, I've got better with that now, but I didn't, I don't, I never listened to no one. If I don't know you, I, don't, I haven't known you for, I don't, like, but. You're thinking, who's this geezer yeah, from Bristol? Just like, how, how are you, you going to tell me what's good for me? Mm. How do you know? You know what I mean? But yeah, my, my man come, bruv. He's like, yeah, just. He just put me in this direction, and to be fair to him, I'm still I'm still on that direction. You are. You're you know with him I mean? to this day, isn't yeah, you? Man, yeah, still, yeah. So I put him through fucking hell. Oh, well. Mate, I've seen it first hand. Hell, mate. <laughs> Sorry, Andy, mate. <laughs> like, you're probably like fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So are you enjoy music again? Yeah, I love music, mate. Love it now. There was a time when I used to go to the studio and think, oh for fuck's sake, I have got to go and do that tune. Nah, I can't wait. Well, so what period was that when you think you got to go studio? Um, when remember when I said that when he first started sending me those instrumentals from like pinching that and uh, mum dance when I was yeah mum yeah we got oh, mum dance mate. I've got I've got. What got, was it about? Was it just just too abstract for you? What was it? It was you know what there was a part of my brain that was locked. Now yeah. that's been opened. I know them tunes are so, sick. So now. you used to Danny, Danny Target. If yeah. you're Danny Target, it was my it's, it was my ignorance, Dave. It wasn't nothing wrong with the songs. It was my ignorance. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, the Eskimos, the the, you know what I mean? The the Creepers and them tunes. I, my brain, you know what I mean? But this is why he is who he is, and because he can see, you know what I mean? He saw the bigger picture in it, and what I would sound good on. You get me? And. Yeah, that, at that stage, when I used, to, I used to think, oh, I've got to go and do that tune, fucking hell. Then I'll go, do it, send it off. When they send it back, it sounds cold. At least I think, what? No, that's not, you get me? And then sort of got used to it more and more. And just sort of like, just 
appreciated it more. Do you know what I mean? Because all of those abstract tunes, if you want to call it abstract, all those tunes I've done in that time, they're all nang. They are. They're Especially all nang. Especially the system. Yeah, yeah. You hear them? Yeah, them yeah. Pumped out. That was their thing, innit? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, like, when everything's said and done, yeah, what do you want your legacy to be? What do you want people to remember Rico as? I would like people to remember me as, um, like, I want them to remember me as a sick dancehall artist. But I know that's going to be hard because there are artists that are purely dancehall. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But I'd like people to remember me as, like, a rapper or MC, whatever you want to call it, but the one that does a dancehall flow, you know what I mean? Because I think that's what, that's that's my best gift, isn't it, man? That's what I'm best at. Are you, when you look back at your career, like, are you proud of what you've achieved? Yeah, I'm really, I'm very proud. So um, if you were to stop today, today yeah. you were to retire, yeah. you could look back and be like, do you know what, I've done everything I've a chick wanted to do. I could, I, 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 I could think that, but there's a lot more that I can achieve, Dave. What more do you want to do? In terms of, on a personal note, there's loads more. I need to, I want to, I don't need to, I want to do, I want to, I need to, I want to have a few albums behind me, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And do you know what I mean? Just a lot, maybe, you know what I mean? There's there's a lot more left in me, bro, you know what I mean? And is that something you're going to do, like album, like more bodies of work? Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, look. I've got a lot of work in the studio, but I don't like saying I've got... You no, you have, you have got a lot yeah, of work. I've got a yeah, lot yeah, of work you, in you the have. studio, but yeah. Yeah, there is, I, if, if I stopped today, I would be happy and proud of what I've achieved, but... I feel like I've still got more to give, you know what I mean? So you're not, you're not stopping any of that? Nah, man, soon. nah, he's, stop, he's, yeah, man. He's still here. Yeah, man. Listen, you've been watching the Graham History Lesson and myself, DJ Argue. Thanks, Dave. Bruv. Nice one, bro. Thanks for coming, man. You got Dave. anything else to say before? Anything um, coming out or? Yeah, I've got um, a few. Nah, nah, I'll leave it, I'll leave it. When, you, when it comes out, you'll hear them. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like the chatting and then... Two months down the line, I said, I swear Rico said, nah, nah, just, yeah, just keep your ears peeled, innit? Just keep it locked. Let's work out there, man. We're gone.